Welcome to St. Bernadette's Missionary Discipleship Gallery. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter. Please, air fry, wave or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please wear your mask, maintain social distancing at all times, as well as silencing your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred of liberty. Today's second collection is for Catholic Paul Mission of Peel. If you do not have envelopes and would like to donate, we have a box on the usher table. The Good Shepherd gathers us and makes us one. Let us rejoice in God's goodness. Our celebrant this morning is Monsignor Ryan. Please stand. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, you laid down your life for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, Good Shepherd, you seek us out when we are lost and confused. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, you will never, ever abandon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
by reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's scripture reading suggests to us that baptism is the most significant moment in life after life itself. Our second reading today told us that we are God's children now. And that was possible only because we were baptized, became members of God's family, became his children. And our first reading told us that there is no salvation in anyone else except in Jesus Christ. And it is through baptism that we first establish a real and personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And so it's important in light of today's readings that we ask ourselves, 
How do we understand baptism? How do we regard baptism right now in our lives? Do we see it merely as a ceremony that took place maybe a long time ago? We may occasionally see photographs of it, but that's as far as it goes. Or do we see it as the beginning of a vital relationship with God? It extends into the present in my life. Certainly, Scripture, when you look at it, and particularly the letters of Paul, that describe baptism in terms of entering into a deep relationship with Christ through his death and resurrection. And so, it's important that baptism is more to us than a distant memory, more to us than just catechism answer that we learned at some time in our lives. But, but it is above the whole experiencing a reality of new life in Christ. And we have a powerful example of that today. When Peter spoke about Jesus being the cornerstone and when he said that Jesus ultimately is the only source of salvation. When you listen to those words, you can sense that he believed them deeply in his heart. Peter was proclaiming Christ in difficult circumstances where powerful religious leaders of the day were opposing him. And yet he was performing great miracles in the name of Jesus. For Peter, the power and the presence of Christ were the most real thing in all of his life. And nobody, nobody would stop him from pro proclaiming that. One well-known writer observed that this awareness of the presence and the power of God has been central to the lives of great Christians down through the centuries. And he expressed this in beautiful words. They have realized that he is their best friend, the faithful one who will never let them down. Their friendship with Christ is that in which all other friendships Ruben. So it's important for each one of us, I think, in light of what we have listened to in Scripture this morning, to ask ourselves, how often do I think about my baptism and the new life I receive? Do I have a sense of wonder and awe that I am truly a child of God? Am I experiencing the power and the presence of Jesus Christ in my most important relationships every day? In my home, at work, in the day one of life. And I think what would be important is that we figure out the next step. What do I need to do today, tomorrow, and next week to become more deeply aware of the power and presence of Christ always with me? Let us stand and confess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, 
é um que dá a ação do carro. Olha, Father, for all ages, God, God, right from right, to God, to God, the God of my name, consubstantial, the power of the Father, through him, the Holy Spirit, 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 the Holy Spirit
pray with my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with God, the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his virtues. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Be the the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of our whole, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, an integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Myron our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. so great a gift. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and feed us of our blessings, as we give our blessings against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I gave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. Only say the word of my soul. In the act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
shepherd and be pleased to settle in the eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gabe, and I am a part of the newly formed Ministry of Vocations here at St. Bernadette's Church. And today happens to be the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. So first, on behalf of Father John Peter, I would like to thank all of you for being prayer warriors. Today, I invite all of you to express gratitude 
for all those who have responded to the call of God in your community, and lift your hearts in prayer for them. These young men and women have heard and listened to God's voice and took up his loving cross to continue the mission, a mission of serving the Lord in the church as priests, as deacons, and religious and consecrated persons. Also, we ask that you please pray for our family community as good and faithful husbands and wives in the sacrament of marriage, and most importantly for those who are single to discern the will of God at all times and to serve the community to make a difference in the world. So again, thank you for your support and all of your love, and may God bless us all. At this time, I invite you all to watch a short video to honor our priests and consecrated members of our community. Thank you all. God bless.
I'm glad to report to you we have three seminarians who are currently finishing their first year, and hopefully we have four more seminarians ready to go to seminary in August or September. So keep up the prayers. It's nice to see so many people here in church this morning. Um, it's okay. We, we, we introduced aerobics long before. <laughs> um, but keep on asking family and friends to come to church. And we will listen to you. And it's important that more and more of our people start to come back to church as the pandemic begins to ease. Certainly, that is true right now here in San Juan County. Please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.